When you die, are you responding with a default loadout? If so, I have a solution for you. Save your loadout on Respawn. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create two scripts with added code that will enable you to save your loadout on Respawn. Let's go to the editor. We're going to go to Malden. Then we're going to go to the map. And we're going to go down to go say and then up the road a bit to this location. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna place an unarmed rifleman, face him this direction, and then we're gonna go to props, and then we're gonna type in ammo, and then we're gonna place down a basic weapons box, and then next to that, we're gonna place down basic ammo box. We're gonna go to attributes, and we're gonna go down to multiplayer, and we're gonna set up a respawn on custom position. We're gonna set the respawn delay for three seconds, and we're just gonna hit okay here. Then we're gonna go to the map, and then we're gonna go to markers, and we're gonna put down a marker, and we're gonna open this marker up, and we're gonna put in respawn underscore west. And we'll change the marker to blue. And that's it for that. All right, so now that we have a respawn established, character placed, ammo boxes placed, we're gonna save this scenario and we're gonna save it under Malden. Save underscore loadout underscore on respawn. Now that we have our mission saved, we're gonna go into the mission folder and we're gonna create two scripts and add some code to them that will enable us to save our loadout on the respawn. We are currently in the mission folder, save loadout on respawn on Malden. Here's the mission SQM. What we need to do is we're gonna create two scripts to enable us to save our loadout on respawn. We're gonna start up a notepad document and I'm gonna give you guys some code. So we're going to put player, space, set, capital V, variable, and then left bracket, and then quotes, capital S, saved, underscore, capital L, loadout, and then a quote, and then a comma, and a space, get, capital U, U, N, I, T, capital L, L, O, A, E, O, T, get unit loadout, space, player, and then right bracket, and then semicolon. This is the code, player set variable, left bracket, saved loadout, get unit loadout, player. Now we're gonna go to file, and then save as, then we're gonna go down to save as type, and you're gonna put all files. For the file name, you're gonna put this on capital P layer killed dot SQF. You're gonna locate the mission folder. Mine happens to be under Malden. And down here, save loadout on respawn. So make sure you have on player killed dot SQF. The first letter on the file name is a small letter and then it's capital after that and .sqf and then just hit save and if we move our text document we should have on player kill .sqf. All right so that's the first script the next script is I'll start up another notepad document and this one we're gonna type player space set unit capital U loadout with a capital L left circular bracket player base get variable okay, it'll be capital V for that and then left bracket quote saved underscore loadout quote comma and then left bracket right bracket and then a right bracket again and then a right curly bracket and then a semicolon. This is going to be player space set unit loadout with a capital U, a capital L, no space here, no space there, and then get variable with a capital V, no space, a bracket, loadout, bracket, and then that's it. 
So after you have that, go to File, Save As, and then we're going to go down to Save As File Type, All Files, and then in the File Name box, you're going to put On, capital P, Player, Respawn, .sqf. So the file name is going to be a small O, On, capital P, Player, and Respawn, .sqf. Your mission folder should already be open, so just save it there. You can close this. Now we have two scripts, on player killed.sqf and on player respawn.sqf. Once you have that, let's go back to the game and let's test it out. Back in the editor, let's go to MP LAN. If you look at your character, our character doesn't have any equipment other than the backpack and a helmet, map radio compass and a watch so let's pick up some weapons a pistol one clip for that one clip for there and then we'll go in here we'll grab a couple rounds for that a couple of grenades and we're set all right so we're going to do two tests take a look at what we have so you can see what we have we have a weapon, a pistol, launcher grenade here, a clip, a clip for the pistol, and a hand grenade, and then an RGO. Alright, so we're going to respawn. If we look right at our inventory, we have exactly what we started with, what we chose. Now, here's a good test. Let's use some of these. grenade and let's respawn so you can see what we have right here let's use a, a couple just the rounds too we were left with one grenade we have a full clip and we were left off with a six bullets left in our gun. And if we look at our ammo, so let's get some more ammo. Let's grab two grenades and a clip and one round there. So let's kill ourselves one more time. And here we are. So as you can see, we have two RGNs as we have before. We have a grenade round, we have our clips, one more clip, two grenades, we didn't pick anything for the pistol, and that's it. This is how your save loadout is on respawn. Whatever weapons you pick up before you die, it will be saved. Alright guys, I hope you find this useful, and I want to thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.